visual indicators. This is the number one thing. Look, if you have to leave the webinar after this one, that's fine. It's the most important thing in my opinion. Look at this wall of text. This is not great. I don't appreciate this. I don't like looking at it. It doesn't really tell me anything. I want indicators almost everywhere. I want five stars, four stars, red flags, green flags, progress bars, uh, you name it, okay? I have seen a lot of customers who take a ton of fields and just show them to their reps and go, look at this record and tell me if it's a healthy record or not. Why are you making me look at 55 fields to figure that out? How about you, a visual indicator that looks at those 55 fields and gives me a green, yellow, red. The nice thing about indicators is they look good, they reduce complexity, they update in real time. You can literally add them, change them whenever you want. You can make them brandable, right? You can put whatever picture you want in there. So if you sell tractors, put a tractor in there or whatever. Um, and you can make them clickable. You can even make them links that take you somewhere. And they really work everywhere. So when I say everywhere, you can put them in the highlight panel. You can put it right on the record page itself. You can put it in mobile. You can put it on a list view. They even work in reports. They're basically just fields that show up anywhere you can see fields. Great, I'm in. <laughs> but the how do I do it, right? All right, so pick an object, okay? You pick your leads, opportunities, I don't care, pick your object. And you go to edit the object. And when you edit the object, you're gonna add a field to that object. So if you want a visual indicator on leads, go to your lead object and add a field. And you're gonna add a formula field. That's how we do this. And I know it's weird, but you're gonna create a text formula. You're not doing a number, you're not doing a date, you're not doing a currency, it's text. Even, even though it's an image, pick text. And then this is where the magic happens. The formula you put in here is what makes the image show up. There's actually a function called image. And it's actually pretty easy. Uh, you put image and then you put in quotes the link to the image, like where is the URL of the image, and then a comma, and then the name of the image in case someone is one, using one of those tools where um, they can't see the screen and they need stuff read out to them. So in my case, you know, image green, uh, and I've got the link to the green thing. You can also even specify the exact size. So if you've got a big image and you want to make it smaller, you can specify the size if you want or not. Um, but if you just put in a single image in the formula, you know, the green image, it's always green because the formula is always green. So instead, think about putting in some logic here, like if the dollar amount is less than 50, show the red image. If it's greater than 50, show the gray image. But really, it's just the logic of your formula. Uh, if it's this industry, that industry, this state, that state, whatever, you write some ifs and this is how uh, you make it change color. Now, when you actually add your URL in here for the image, the thing's gonna look much longer and so it's gonna be a little bit harder to read, but it's still the same simple formula. It's just still, if they have more than 500 employees, show the green circle. If they don't, show the yellow circle. It looks more complicated because my URL is more complicated but that's it. Uh, now, if you don't have images, okay, uh, you can install something called the graphics pack off the App Exchange. I forget how many, but it installs tons of little icons for you. You can just feel free to use those. But if you do have images, you can just upload your own. There's a thing called static resources. Uh, you essentially add your, create a new static resource, give it a name, upload your file, and when you click that view file link, that's the link you wanna use in your image uh, function. So let me just show you this real quick. All right, so in setup, I've got a static resource uh, for a green image. I've got another one I already put in here for a red image, but you know, if you were new, you'd come in here, you'd pick new image, you'd give it a name, doing it live. And then you pick a file, uh, like my yellow one, and you hit save. Oh, no spaces, doing it live, and hit save. So this is how you would add your yellow image. And if you click view file, there is the link right there to your yellow image. So uh, in my case, let me go to the green one I have. So there's my green one. I'm gonna go to the red one I have and open that up. There's my red one. So let's say I wanna add a visual indicator to my lead record. Gonna go to leads, gonna edit my object. And I, again, I'm doing this fast, but you should get the idea. Go into fields, creating a new field, creating a formula field, and in my fashion, doing it live, it's a text field. And I could just I could just do a very simple image and then pick, let's say the green one, just grab that URL, paste it in here, 
and then just say green. Uh, and this will only ever be a green image, okay? Or I can do something like if, and then add some fields in here. So I can even add some logic. So I can say something like if the lead, I got a field in here called total score. Let's see, total score. If the lead score is less than 10, show one image. If it's greater than 10, show the other image. So I'm gonna do another one right here, image, red, there we go. And I'm gonna grab the red icon, put it in there, and that's it. And I'm pretty sure I did it right, but check your syntax, it can't hurt. It's all about good syntax. And then who can see the field? It's just a normal field now. So field level security kicks in. So who can see the field? Which page layouts do you put the field on? Where do you put the field? It's just a field at this point. It's just like putting in phone number, email address. There we go. So when I go to Charlie's record and I refresh my page, here is my doing it live field. And it's green because Charlie scored more than 10. But if he does not, have a project defined and he's not the decision maker and they're really not thinking anytime soon, well that score is gonna go way down uh, and that indicator changes. Do this everywhere on everything, it's awesome.